he stood up and his name was Francis Boyle. He told Francis Boyle, the strongest argument your people have is that main name, the Hawaiian people, because he, he was uh, he's our attorney, is that you folks still live on your land, you still assert in your right, and your people still asserting their right to statehood. Let me uh, throw one question out. Uh, thank you. Uh, is that where, I mean, is there a consensus among the Hawaiian people? And what is there a consensus about at this, at this point? I mean, if not process. I think the consensus is we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's one true. Yeah. yeah. The consensus, yeah. we know it. We know yeah. it. We don't do yeah. something soon. No, we will right. be in deeper that trouble. Need land. So that's, it, yeah. that, that is, that is, is consensus. Consensus. We understand yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If we remain yeah. under the system run by yeah. people like Governor Eagle, or Abercrombie, and the so, so called system, yeah. the federal, no yeah. child we, left we behind, kind. race for the top, and all these programs, they will erase us. There's a yeah, we cannot, we cannot depend on the state or the federal government. That's what we really, you know, we need to make space for them. 250,000 Hawaiians. Every one of my cousins want to come home. They want to come home too. to some land. You know, everybody's crying. When can we come home? Well, how can we get some land? How can we afford anything? We can barely afford anything. I'm a professor. I would have been with three generations in one small townhouse. You know, we, we got only land going down the hillside, so that's we're planting the food on the hillside. I really, my, my son-in-law goes out to hunt pigs to bring food for the family. It's hard right now to live in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And it's hard when you're Hawaiian and you believe that we shouldn't be destroying the land. That's our belief. That's our ancestor. You cannot buy and sell your grandmother. We shouldn't be buying and selling the land. We should certainly not be desecrating places that are sacred to our ancestors. Yeah. What you were saying? No, our, our people just got to exercise the right. They got to assert. They got to more and more of us assert, like Mauna Kea, like get evictions going on, people just totally like saying, hey, we're not going to do this anymore, the hell with it, take your house off, you know, take the house, the house belongs to you. Peter, your own feeling about what is the consensus among the Hawaiians? It, we, the consensus is we're in trouble, but beyond that, it seems like there's... I don't, I don't, I don't know, and I tell you, we, we did a, there was a, the last actual real uh, scientific poll that was conducted on the question of sovereignty was in 1999. And w w it, there was no difference between the reaction from ha Hawaiians and non-Hawaiians. It was split 50-50 on the question of sovereignty. Now, and there was less education that time. And there was much, far less education. So it, it, it would be really Hawaii. cool, I think, if That's we could we do one today, today somehow and figure out where we stand yeah, yeah. with yeah. Hawaiians. I just want to say, well, I think part of the problem so that the, worst thing. the yeah. media yeah. fails, and the media fails to express and understand that if you actually looked, all that I just said tonight, I mean, I'm talking factual evidence. I can quote, you know, Williamson Chang, oldest professor, you hate school of law. I can quote doctor, PhDs, MAs, educators, medical doctors, up the yin yang. And they will say exactly what I just said. Mm -hmm. The facts are there. Hawaiians have become educated. The masses are becoming more and more educated. See, that's why I said, I, I don't really care about polls. And I've asked all many times. I would wish that they went and had real testimonies. Go to the islands. As Queen Lili Okalani said, right? What did she say about the voice of the people? The voice of the people is the voice of God. Let's go out and collect testimonies, like the DOI. Wait, wait, and wait, wait, And let's go wait, here. Wait. Let's go invite everybody. Yes, but that everybody let, had let, felt that they had a place at those testimonies. A lot of people felt afraid. Okay, okay let's change. Okay, I, how do we change that? I because there's said, a climate of fear when you walk I, in I and people said, attack you. Okay, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me, let me just finish. I just said, everybody, all people, forever. You put your word down forever. You put them on paper, write down forever. So we know when the great grandkids later on go and they hear what the tutu yeah, said, yeah. they know where the tutu was yeah. said. Mm -hmm. I support it all the way down. I support a process where everybody, mm -hmm. every Hawaiian, especially those Hawaiians who refuse to give up their nationality, are put into a process. Because I tell you right now, OHA just wasted $2.9 million again into another process. To another process, because I'm telling you right now, and I don't know who you guys are talking to. What about the Hawaiians who? Because there's many be Hawaiians American? out there will tell you they. What about they, them? Which Hawaiians you talking what about? What about Hawaiians who want to be American? There are. They should be Americans. Yeah, they can. So, but they shouldn't get, again, they should be Americans, yeah, but they, don't talk about national lands. Yeah, they cannot. They cannot be confused, they cannot you see. That's why they're talking Kalanapu and they're talking Federal Recognition.